Coronavirus has made lockdowns and social distancing the new normal, but that is something almost impossible for those living in refugee camps. From Greece to Bangladesh, overcrowded migrant camps are at great risk now, and authorities face the daunting task of containing the spread of the disease in these camps. More in this next report. This is the Ritsona migrant camp in Greece, about 75 kilometers northeast of capital Athens. It houses about 2,500 migrants. A 19-year-old migrant mother from this camp tested positive for COVID-19 after giving birth in an Athens hospital. She was the first recorded case among refugees living in overcrowded camps across Greece. After her, 20 asylum seekers from the same camp tested positive none of them had showed any symptoms. The refugee shelter has now been quarantined. All movement in and out of the Ritsona camp has been restricted for 14 days. An isolation area for COVID-19 patients has been created at the camp. Apart from food and medical supplies, additional doctors and nurses have also been deployed to the camp. We have already distributed hygiene supplies since yesterday and there are more coming. They will be continuously distributed. People in the camp are being informed every two hours about what is happening. They are given instructions on the movement restrictions and what they should be doing. Greece hosts over 100,000 migrants of which 40,000 of them are on the Greek islands. And these overcrowded refugee camps are a high risk for the spread of the virus. The country has recorded 1,415 infected cases so far and 50 deaths. And it has called upon the European Union for support to tackle the crisis in the camps. Meanwhile, as the coronavirus spreads through Bangladesh, over 1 million Rohingya refugees stuck in camps are at great risk. With a density of 40,000 people per square kilometer, the Rohingya camps have migrants tightly packed in plastic shacks side by side. While there have been no reported cases of infection in the Rohingya camps yet, officials are warned that containing the disease among them will be a daunting task. All visits by foreigners are completely halted unless it's absolutely necessary. They're instructed to carry on work in a limited scope. Various NGOs and organizations are campaigning in Rohingya language to increase their awareness. We have built a 100-bed isolation center there. Beside that, we are trying to build a 200-bed hospital with modern facilities in conjuncture with the WHO. Refugees say they are being briefed on social distancing and hand wash hygiene, but they continue to crowd outside relief centers and shops in the camps. The organizations working here informed us about cough, cold and sore throat being the symptoms of coronavirus. We've been told to be aware about these. They also told us how to maintain our safety by not going to anyone's tent, maintaining five feet distance from one another, avoiding crowds and washing hands properly before cooking and after eating. Bangladesh has reported six deaths and 54 cases of COVID-19 so far, and it's a race against time to ensure that the deadly virus stays away from the migrant camps. Bureau Report, Rion, World is One.